everybody, it's Emily at Arg Schooling, and today I'm going to be talking about my November TBR. Well, I can't believe that we're at the end of October as I'm filming this, and that it's, a, it's going to be November in just a few days. That's crazy. Let's talk about what I have planned to read this month. So I actually have a lot of books I'm planning to read through this month because I am currently still working on my Build Your Library Level 5 update, which has basically been me completely dismantling Level 5, rearranging books, adding in a ton of new ones, it's crazy. It's a lot. And that is taking up all of my time. What happened to me going on and talking about having a nice big long break? <laughs> I finished level 12 and then immediately jumped into a project. That is just how I am. I don't know why I do this. But anyway, so there's a lot going on with that. I have, I, I, I did this because over here is where I have the stacks of books for that. Like I'm looking at it. So uh, yeah, anyway, that's going to be taking up a lot of time. But I do have some fun things to talk about that I'm going to be reading this month. So without further ado, first up, and this is probably hopefully going to be finished in the very beginning of November, is Thunderhead. I just finished reading Scythe a few days ago. And so I immediately picked up Thunderhead. I'm not that far in. Shh. Hey, relax. My dog is always under the tripod making all kinds of noise. Well, I am currently reading Thunderhead. I'm about 100 pages in. I haven't gotten that far yet, but I'm planning on finishing this up at the beginning of the month. I am loving the reread. I read it the first time, like right after it came out, and so I've forgotten a bunch of things. I cannot wait to talk more about this because the other book I'm planning on reading this month, I don't have a copy yet, but The Toll comes out in a few days. Do you see what is in my mail? <gasps> oh. Emily from the future. Uh, I now have my copy of The Toll, but not only do I have my copy of The Toll, I have two copies of The Toll. I have the Owl Crate edition that is signed, and then I just got, UPS just dropped off the one that I thought was coming tomorrow, so now I have both copies. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm still reading Thunderhead. I, I'm hopefully going to finish Thunderhead by tomorrow, and then I can dive in because I'm about to lose my mind. I'm so excited. But I'm just going to quick show you my copy from Owl Crate so you can, and, and I'll show you both so you can kind of see the differences. It, if you can notice, it took me a minute. <laughs> I was like, it doesn't really look any different, but it does just a little. So I'm going to show you both versions and the signature and stuff because I'm sure you care <laughs> as much as I do. So here are both copies so you can see and compare. So this one is the Owl Crate edition and this is the regular one. So you can see like the lettering is different and what do you call this? The stole, I guess, of the scythe is lighter on the Owl Crate than on the regular. Honestly, <laughs> The reason I wanted the Owl Crate edition is because it is signed. I'm so excited to have my my copy. It's beautiful. They're both beautiful. Hello, my children. So I promised Sarah that I would bring her this copy so she could read and participate in the book club. If you want to participate in the ARG Book Book Club, we are going to be reading The Toll in November and December. I decided and if you watched the live stream for The Turn of the Key, we talked about this during the live stream, but I decided that because November and December are typically such busy months, I'm, I'm assuming that you guys are as busy as I am, probably, so I decided that it would be easier for everyone involved if we had an extra month to read The Toll, because I know a lot of people were also still trying to read Scythe and Thunderhead before picking up The Toll. So. If you wanted to read The Toll with us and you hadn't caught up yet, never fear. The live show will not happen until probably like the third week, I think, of December. I'll have to look at a calendar, but Sarah said her break starts in like December 19th or something like that. So that's whereabouts, I think. It'll be before Christmas, the live stream. So 
So we'll be reading The Toll by Neil Schusterman. I hope that you guys are as excited about it as I am because I cannot wait. Also, I'm planning on reading Fatal Throne, The Wives of Henry VIII Tell All. This is by a variety of young adult authors. Um, I'm really excited about this. I love me a good Tudor novel. I am obsessed with the Tudors. I don't know if you know this about me. You probably do. Um, I just need to read everything I can find on them. I just, I find them endlessly fascinating. And this book has several young adult authors. Jennifer Donnelly wrote a story in here. You know, I loved The Shallow Graves, and that was like one of my favorite books I read last year. So I'm super excited to read anything by her. There's also a story in here by Linda Sue Park, M.T. Anderson, Stephanie Hemphill. So there's lots of young adult authors that have added to this. It just sounds like a lot of fun. I'm also planning on reading The Hunger by Amakatsu. I've been talking about this for ages. You guys, I need to read it. And so I'm very excited to finally pick this up. This is a story about the Donner Party, but with supernatural elements added to it. So like, if it wasn't horrible enough what happened to them, now we get to like have monsters involved. <laughs> so I, I'm just, I'm so excited to read this. This is my signed copy that I got at Boston Book Fest two years ago, one year ago, I think it was a year ago, and I've just been dying to pick this up. I heard her talking about her research for this, and I'm just so excited. The last thing I want to talk about that I'm planning on reading in November is I really want to finish up the Walking Dead comics. I'm almost done. All I have left is volume 29, volume 30, volume 31 and volume 32 and then then it's done then i'm finished i know the whole story i i don't know i'm very excited but also i'm feeling a little bit of trepidation about finishing it some I, what is that why do i get like that sometimes i'm just so excited to finish a thing and other times it just i don't know maybe it's because i've been reading it for so long like i started reading the comics when we got to about i think season three of the show so it's been years, years of reading these, and I don't know. I'm both excited and a little bit sad about it. So this is probably going to happen. I've been putting it off. I've been saying this for like six months. I'm going to finish them. So I'm actually going to do it. And November seems like a, the right time. Some bonus books, if you will. I would really like to read Signal to Noise by Silvia Moreno Garcia. This is a story about a group of teenagers in the 80s living in Mexico City. It's got some magical realism. It's got stuff to do with music. It's billed as like a Stranger Things kind of a story. And I just really want to read it. All of her books sound awesome. I've been dying to pick this up, so it's going to happen soon. I've also been on a historical fiction kick lately, and I just want to read lots of that. And I've been looking, this has been on my shelf for ages, The Fair Fight by Anna Freeman. I don't know why I haven't read this yet. This is like Victorian England Fight Club with Girls. And so it just sounds so good. I don't know why I haven't picked this up. I love Victorian England anything. I love like girl power stories. I just think this sounds great and I really want to pick it up. And then I also have been dying to pick up His Hideous Heart, 13 Ed of Edgar Allan Poe's Most Unsettling Tales Reimagined by, and this is edited by Dahlia Adler. This is a collection of stories with a variety of young adult authors have contributed to this. So there's a lot of stuff in here that I'm really excited to read. And I love that it gives his original tales alongside so you can flip back and forth and read the original tale and then the reimagined tale. I just think this sounds amazing. My husband and I watched The Raven last night, which is a like, I think it came out in 2012 which is an Edgar Allan Poe, like, thriller movie with John Cusack, and I just, I love that movie. I didn't realize I'd already seen it. We were watching it last night, and I'm like, this is really familiar. <laughs> Clearly I'd seen it before, and I just forgot all about it. But I loved it, and I was just like, I need more Edgar Allan Poe. So this is probably going to happen soon. I don't know, I might just, like, read little bits at a time between November and December, so I can read the whole thing by the end of the year. We'll see. So these are some of the things that I plan to read in the month of November. I'm very excited. 
I don't know, I, feel, I have a really good feelings about November for some reason. I just think it's going to be a good month. I think I'm going to get a lot of great reading done. I feel like I'm going to be really productive. I don't know why, I just do. <laughs> so, so we're going to go with it. We're going to go with whatever productive feelings I have because goodness knows I need them. What are you planning on reading in November? Let me know down below in the comments and we can chat. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Happy reading. Bye.